Ruiz Evans is very quickly in his face once again. He's having a belter, isn't he, Evans? What a game in defence has this centre Rhys Evans had. I've been professional for five years now. Whilst playing a game, I uh, tore my lap muscle off the bone, uh, which is called the terrace major muscle, dislocated my shoulder and also tore my rotator cuff in my left shoulder all in one, one go. I used it for a four-week period and I found it very really useful. Um, it improved my posture and my shoulder massively and helped me with a lot of exercises like my weights and my tackling. There was no pain at all. It massively helped me with my recovery. It helped my posture really well and with certain exercises in the gym and also on the field, it, it gave me less pain relief, so it was really good. My favourite feature is the fact that it pulls your shoulders back, it helps with your, with your posture and you can feel it actually working on a day-to-day -day basis when your shoulders slightly turning backwards, so I'd say that. I use it after games, so after games when my shoulder feels a bit stiff and I know my shoulder's falling forward, I use it for two or three days just to pull my shoulder back and release a bit of stiffness and pain. Anyone who's had a shoulder recon or any shoulder injury, this is a very good uh, tool or equipment to use to help you recover quicker. I'd say you feel it within a week or two when you first usually do it. Um, but then obviously as you start carry on playing and you get stiffness from time to time, within a couple of days of using it after a game, it's very useful. The, the key part to the shoulder brace for Reese has been uh, with his rehab, it's, it's, a, it's a nice feedback tool outside of rugby where he hasn't got those, those prompts to help make those adjustments over a, a longer period of time rather than just, just the time that he spends in the gym or, or as part of his rehabilitation. It's important that obviously all the biomechanics around the shoulder, muscle balance is, is, is as good as it can be. Uh, the forces that we start to see going through the shoulder obviously are, are fairly high. So if they can optimise how that works and, and, and the balance of, of the shoulder is super important. I just think it's, it's, it's a really nice way of, of giving the player something to take away and something that can, can continue feedback on, on where maybe they, they should be thinking about where their shoulder posture sits. So it, it's that just continual feedback all the time because it's easy to, to forget or for people with dysfunctional uh, shoulder postures, it, it's easy to slide back into old habits. I think it's going back to, to the importance of shoulder posture. I think uh, that's where the, the brace plays, plays a nice part in, in starting to introduce something and making sure that, that they have a quality about what they're doing outside of, of work or outside of their rehab session or recovery session. It's been instrumental and, and I know Reese values it highly um, and noticed when he hadn't been using it um, as part of his rehabilitation programme. And I think, I think for, for someone like him, will become a, a standard part of some of his recovery and, and some of his, his uh, training with regards to making sure that he stays on top of, of his uh, rehab going forward as a prevention, as well as helping him along the way when he was doing his rehab.